ladies. Thank you for joining us on today's show. Thank, Thank you for having us. us. Thank you for having us. And uh, we'll start, I guess, with just the season and um, your, your thoughts on what it feels like to be a state champion and what it means to the program there at Washington, first ever state championship for Washington girls soccer. Yeah, it feels great to be a state champion and it's a little more sweet because we haven't had a soccer um, championship title brought back to Washington High School ever so it's good to be the first. It is, it is. Um, our coach always tells us to not only go out there and play for yourself but to play for everybody else around you and I feel like that's really what we capitalized on that weekend. Um, it was a really like unreal feeling like I didn't know how to feel after it or even a week after it just doesn't feel real but it's like it's a great feeling though you mentioned it being the first ever state championship in program history and the school still very young yeah. in its own existence has I guess reality set in knowing that you guys are the first so growing up that will always be something people remember and the older the school gets eventually when it gets probably its own Hall of Fame even for athletics at Washington High, you might be the first ones <laughs> yeah. getting the call of being recognized for the uh, great accomplishment. Yeah, it um, became a little more real last night. We had our banquet, so we all got to sign our game ball from the championship game. So that's going to go in the trophy case, so it'll always be there. Yeah, it's definitely a great legacy to leave for sure. And Megan and, and Erica, you guys are seniors, so to do that in your senior season, obviously special. And then for Journey, you're trying to continue, I guess, this legacy that they're going to leave behind. But for you guys just coming into the program as freshmen and where it's at now, uh, what can you say about how you're leaving the program for Megan and Erica? Um, ever since freshman year, it's always been the goal to win a state championship. It was never to stop at sectionals or regionals. Like, ever since I've been here, the seniors, when I was a freshman, talked about like state tournament so for us to be able to like complete the task that was kind of given to us freshman year is just a great feeling and a good way to leave Washington High School. Yeah it's great um, if I could give them any advice I would tell them to really take in the moment um, like Megan said it's always been a goal to get that far and win a state championship um, but it goes by really fast and so do the the past four years went by really fast so that's what I would tell them. I guess talk us through both games. We'll start with the semifinal first uh, down in Beckley and just your thoughts about that game and that huge win. And, of course, we got to start with uh, the lady that had the hat trick, right, <laughs> yeah. in that game. So, Journey? Um, playing the first time, I felt like it, I didn't, like, play my all. Like, it was my first game back after getting, like, a confidence drop. But the first game back, I got yellow car and got out the game and I was like all right I see them at states it's my time to shine I saw that first ball get played in by Ayla I said I had to get in front of her hit it as fast as I can it might not go in but at least it's a shot went in turn around Megan was right there first person I was celebrating with and then just the rest of the game I was like I gotta show them why I'm here why why we're gonna win this and that first time we played y'all it was just a misunderstanding this is this is our tournament, our time. Yeah. I think pretty well said. How about you guys, I guess, for the semifinal? Because I know it was also a shutout. Great season for you, getting a f well over 100 saves, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely unreal. I agree with everything that Journey said. We just have to go out there and give it your all and rely on your teammates and rely on yourself. Yeah, we came off pretty hot off of a sectional and regional win because we kind of like know the players we play around like against here. So we were just like even more hyped up that we came off such a good regional game and we were just ready to come out and win. I guess just uh, looking back on the season, what are some of your favorite memories leading up to the state championship? Um, the away trips are always really fun, and I love any time we play a rival like Jefferson or Hedgesville. I love those games because it's always just a chance to show whoever has the more momentum that game. And my favorite memory is probably scoring against Jefferson in the last um, 
And when we were playing at Jefferson the last minute of the game, it was a good game. We tied one to one. Yeah. Um, I would say every practice, every game, just being there with your teammates and um, playing the game that you love is amazing. Um, some of the moments that stand out to me is not only playing soccer but like the moments afterward like the celebrations are unreal it's amazing like like journey said earlier like you still don't know how to feel like even a week after but um going home on the bus and listening to music and having a good time with your team yeah for me it was definitely the bus ride like came back on the bus being high there's always music playing somehow somewhere even if the bus driver goes ox or not but it was always like energetic it wasn't ever a down mo moment i felt like with anybody was there ever a moment throughout the season uh because as you said earlier you always have the goal to win states but was there a specific moment that you realized maybe this team is special and we can truly accomplish this goal if things go our way yeah our coach michaels is always from summer conditionings and workouts has always put it in our minds that we have the team and the schedule to win states because after last season when we lost sectionals we all got the captains got together and met and we decided that we wanted to have the hardest like schedule possible just to see all the competition throughout the state to be prepared because we knew that we had a good team going in this season and we wanted to have the best opportunity possible to like get film and everything and have just the experience under our belt for when we get to states and we did because we played every team that was in the state tournament in the actual season so it helped us kind of get to know how they play and how we play against them. Yeah, it was um, it was pretty obvious from the first first practice of the season with the the talent that our team has and the mindset that we all share. Um, we met with our coach and we talked about it and we told him this is what we want to do. How can we get there? And he did a great job. We couldn't done it. We couldn't have done it without him. Um, I just trusted my captains. They did all the work. Like they put the team together. They did drills. I just followed them and the coach the whole way and they put us in the right position for states, definitely. And it seems like just from talking to you guys and, and hearing some of these answers that, uh, and, and looking at some things as well, you know, this was a senior heavy team, a captain led team. Um, how do you think, I guess, just the closeness of this group and, and all that stuff helped you guys get to this point? Um, teamwork is always like, the recipe for success in my opinion and we had the same captains last year we were me riley erica and ella we all were captains last year our junior year so it kind of like let us have the experience and my sister was a captain like we always were like close with our captains so they just gave us lessons throughout their time at washington high school and taught us everything they knew so we just took that into account going into the season with this team and we just applied all of those lessons that we learned from them, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, leadership is um, huge for us. And I know the captains um, from this year, me, Megan, Ella, and Riley, we all looked after the captains that came before us. And it's kind of something that I guess is, you could say it's like passed down, like through generations, um, the traditions that we share, it's super important for our success. Um. I'm just hoping to be as good as a captain as they were, to be honest. <laughs> Thanks, Journey. I appreciate it. Well, I'll go to you first then, I guess, Journey. What, what do you feel like uh, were some of the positive things that they brought that you can, I guess, build off of, of what it takes to be a good captain? Leadership, like, first one, Megan always had, like, confidence. Before the game, she was like, we up, we high yeah. in the group chat, blowing it up. And, like, that really helped me. And then Erica, like, she stays positive the whole entire time. Like, though the whole thing, she was like, all right, you got this, don't worry, next play, next move. I get, I gain something from all of them. Like, Ella comes, like, with this passion, aggressiveness. And, like, with Riley, she just, like, stays, like, subtle in the way she just moves the ball. It's, like, there's something about all of them I'm, I can, like, take and put into the next year's team. And then for you two, it being your senior year, do you guys have plans in place for what you're wanting to do after graduation yet, or are you still trying to decide? Um, I'm still deciding. Um, there's some coaches that were, because a lot of coaches come and watch the state tournament, so some of them reached out, but right now I don't have any specific plan. But Erica um, does. I do. <laughs> um, I'm actually committed to Central Connecticut State University, where I'll be playing D1 up in Connecticut. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Nick? I was just going to say, you know, 
um, coming off of a great state championship season journey, what are some things that you're hoping uh, to work on this off season, not only individually but as a team? I know you led the team in goals and, and had a great year. I would definitely say my passing like sequences instead of just me taking the ball, get the ball up, somebody else gets a chance on goal. And like for the team, definitely keep working on our crosses, our wide balls, and like all the stuff that brought us to where like we finished off. Colin, you got anything else? I'm good. All right. Thank you, ladies, for joining us, and congratulations. Yeah, thank, thank you for having us. This segment brought to you by Parsons Ford of Martinsburg at 1400 Trevorstown Road. Online at ParsonsFord.com. They became number one by making you number one first. Parsons. With four new car dealerships and four used car dealerships in three states, Parsons is the largest used car and fastest growing new car dealer in the tri-state area. Take Parsons Ford with huge savings on hundreds of new Fords, financing from 0%, Parsons' goal of financing for all, and Parsons' famous above-market trade-in allowances that help make Parsons number one.